Hi, it's Jeff with Aqua Pro here. I want to go over how to test a flow switch on an IntelliCore salt generator. This one in particular is nice and 20, but the 20s through the 40s are all the same. Um, this particular one is a newer model. Um, it's only about a year old or so. But the customer called and said that the flow light was illuminated red and the good and low salt lights were flashing back and forth red and green. Which was the case when I got here. Um, so what I found is I did these clips on each side, put a screwdriver underneath it, pried them out, and we get this off. Um, that is the flow switch right here. And what I did was turn the power off, clip the wires, and this particular flow switch has four wires to it. The green is a ground and the white is a communication line, I have a feeling, because it says it is a temperature sensor. Um, so I connected those two again with these UR connectors. It's got a waterproof silicone product in it, which you pinch them down. You don't have to uh, strip your wire. Some people don't like to use these, but I have never had an issue with them. Um, if they don't work, I'll usually clip them off again and uh, reset it, and they work just fine. Um, anyway, to test the flow switch, I took the red and black wire that lead directly into the unit here. I stripped them and then twisted them, the wires together, turned the power back on, flow switch illuminated. These were still flashing, but that's what happens when you, my neighbor's dog, um, that's what happens when the unit first fires up, going through its system check. And uh, once it did that, it went to salt level. It's good. So, with those jumpered, I took the flow switch out of the loop. And I need to order a new flow switch for the customer. Uh, so it'll just be turning the power off, unthreading this unit. And it's got an arrow on each side indicating which way the flow should go, which in this case is that way. So when I get the new flow switch, I'll thread it in and make sure my arrow is pointing the right way, the correct way, and then uh, fire back up again. Anyway, that's how you test a flow switch on a pin tear and tell it for IC 20, 30, or 40. And this is Jeff with Off the